everyone, welcome back to the Earth Dawn Survival Guide, the podcast for all disciplines, paths, players, and game masters, with your questers, Josh and Dan. I am Dan. I am Josh. And on today's podcast, we will be discussing all things lyrical and musical and social as we talk about part two, the warden and master tiers of the Troubadour, your friend and mine. Yes, everybody's friend. <laughs> Absolutely, hence the social part. If you have any questions for us about what you're about to hear, uh, we got a question last time, I think, on The Warrior and other things. So please feel free to contact us at edsgpodcast at gmail.com. We will get back to you as fast as we possibly can uh, on the next episode of the podcast, if you get to them fast enough. So with that out of the way, uh, let's get the uh, two to three minute rundown on the overall arcing theme of the Troubadour from uh, Lord Master himself, Josh. Yeah, the Troubadour is... The social discipline, their abilities and talents and everything revolve around their role as a lore keeper and historian and performer and social individual. They're the ones who absolutely shine in urban environments, political situations, any kind of place where they can use their knowledge and skills to grease the social wheels and make people feel more favorably inclined towards the group and gain favors and all that sort of thing. The Troubadour is fantastic and just has a whole bunch of talents that really leverage the social game. They have some stuff that is useful in combat in terms of what they might be able to do to support their companions, but they don't have a lot of combat ability and could be useful in a care diving type campaign because of the knowledge and research and magical insight abilities that they can bring to bear, particularly with item history, which is probably one of the more broadly useful talents that they have, because everybody will have magic items that they'll want to use, and item history is a great way to unlock the potential of those items, along with their research capabilities and various other things, they can be really, really useful when it comes to taking advantage of the treasures that you retrieve from a care. But they might feel a little bit weak if your game is on the heavy combat side because they don't have a lot of direct combat applicability. Scratch excluded. Well, again, what you <laughs> often see with troubadour characters mm -hmm. that want to become a bit more effective in combat is that they will frequently pick up a second discipline sword master is a very common one for yes. that simply because the sword master of all of the combat disciplines is the one that is more social socially inclined and their style tends to meld very well with the troubadour's performance ethos. Another one that you might see less often, but would be a different slant in terms of a multidiscipline combo that you want to make a little bit more combat effective would be a troubadour weaponsmith, um, because weaponsmiths also have a little bit of the social thing, but also leverage the knowledge and community focus that uh, are, a, are an aspect of the troubadour. Agreed. So with that rundown, let's get to the actual nitty gritty on what the Troubadour gets at Ninth Circle, because as I've said before, everybody gets something special at Ninth Circle as they do at 13th. So let's see what the Troubadour gets. This unnatural charm ability. The adept performs an eight hour ritual to mystically enhance their appeal. Each adept's ritual is unique based on their training and personal philosophy. One might strike a deal with a spirit, permanently trading a song composed in exchange for supernatural attraction. Another might take on the role of a legendary master troubadour and perform in public as that individual, with a remnant of the master's essence remaining after the performance ends. It is often performed as the final step in becoming a warden, but may be done at any time. After the ritual, the adept takes one blood magic damage and permanently adds plus three to the charisma value, therefore raising it up a whole step. 
Yes, this is right in line with very similar abilities that other disciplines get at Ninth Circle, like the Beastmasters, one that ends up with the plus three to their toughness. It's pretty straightforward in that regard. Hey, I'm the Troubadour. I get even more increase to my charisma than I would have been able to put in from just attribute advances. Yeah, that's a lot of points to get plus three on their values there. Uh, But they also get a karma point to be able to spend on recovery tests now. Sorry, they're able to spend karma points on recovery tests. My fault, misphrasing that. Uh, And this discipline talent that Troubadours get at Ninth Circle is Bardic Voice. New to the Companion. New to the Companion, yes, absolutely. Bardic Voice is a straight-up boost to the Troubadours' already somewhat prodigious social ability. When making interaction tests using Emotion Song or any other charisma-based talent that affect Game Master character attitude, and that relates to the social mechanics that are in the Game Master's Guide, um, and the talent rules will indicate whether it's affecting uh, the Game Master character attitude, the Troubadour takes a point of strain and just adds their Bardic Voice rank to the action test. So it's just a straight-up boost to their ability to use those things. And why wouldn't it be? On to 10th Circle. Uh, The Troubadour is, is no slouch again. They get a plus two to their original Mystic Defense. They also get a plus one to their Mystic Armor. Not bad. And the discipline tally they get is Rally. Rally we've talked about a couple of times. Uh, It's available to warriors and to cavalrymen and to air sailors. Uh, This is a talent that allows the Troubadour to bring their allies up from a demoralized condition. It allows the... Uh, the targets of the rally test, if they have a recovery test available to immediately make a recovery test and also to ignore harried or knocked down modifiers until the end of the next round. Yeah, not bad. These are the inspirational words that the Troubadour speaks. This is the St. Crispin's Day speech. This is the St. Crispin's Day speech. This is Aragorn at the gates of uh, at the gates of Mordor. Yeah. The whatever of men may fail, but it is not this day. You know, that whole inspirational leading the charge sort of situation. For a troubadour, it would be a slightly different circumstance, you know, less like the commander leading from the front, but it is a very similar idea. Yeah. Sing song, make it rhyme, whatever the case may be, but definitely inspire and and get people to get to go. Uh, 11th circle, the troubadour adds a plus one to their physical defense. And they may now spend a karma point once per turn on any test made while adjacent to an ally. Because again, social discipline. This is a karma ability that shows up for a couple of different disciplines. It shows up for air sailors. Uh, It shows up in some other places as well. You know, when working together or alongside their friends, they can boost that with a little bit of magic. And the 11th circle discipline talent that troubadours get is new to the companion as well. Undermine. Yeah, we've talked about this before, but it's been a little bit. I think air sailors get it. Might have popped up somewhere else. Undermine is a brutal social debuff. (laughs) The adept uses whatever way that they are sort of superior to the target to make them feel inadequate the result of the test reduces the target's social defense for rank minutes. And of course, reducing the social defense means that the target is going to be that much more susceptible to the subsequent abilities of the troubadour that they will bring to bear afterwards. Whether that's taunt, whether that's uh, social abilities, you know, that might affect their relationship level to the troubadour and and stuff like that this is just a this is you know because it lasts for their rank in minutes this is something that is basically setting up the target to be socially manipulated or inconvenienced in any number of ways (laughs) after that you are correct undermine is available to the archers as a master talent option and undermine just reminds me of the movie goodwill hunting you like apples i got a number how do you like them apples that's just me. Uh, next, 12th circle. The troubadour gets the a plus four to their social defense and their 
Base initiative step now goes up plus two, and the discipline talent they receive is witty repartee. Witty repartee is essentially repost, but for social talents. Oh, nice. They use their charm, wit, and force of personality to deflect attacks against their social defense, possibly turning it back on their attacker. Similar to how there was a wizard talent that we talked about that kind of acts like repost, but for spells. Yes. The troubadours get this ability, but for social talents. So it acts like resist taunt does in that it is an active defense against an ability that targets their social defense. But in this case, if they score extra successes, then they essentially counterattack with the target suffering from whatever effect would have affected the troubadour if that were the case. Yeah. So that would be like the glyph of reversal. Is that the one we're thinking? Glyph of reversal. Yeah. That's the, that's the wizard talent yeah. I was thinking of. So that one get so wizards get that at 14th. The troubadour gets witty repartee at 12th. Yeah. Tells you. It's repost for social de- defense targeting abilities. Yeah. Tells you how important that one is here. So those are the, the four discipline talents you get, 9, 10, 11, and 12. There's, of course, the warden talent option pool to draw from. <clears throat> and you get four of these. Uh, again, one per circle. And you can carry these over if you want to into the war- into the uh, master talent option, master tier if you want to. But really, I think the master tier has a whole bunch of things you'd really rather use instead. So most of these, you're going to sound very familiar Only two are from the Companion. So kind of like the Cavalrymen, the Troubadours, Warden talent options finally allowed some room to get all these options in here as well, because the first eight circles really were focusing on their specialty. Yes. Starting off, we have Acrobatic Defense. Yeah, Acrobatic Defense. Uh, We start to get some abilities that will help the Troubadour out in combat a little bit. Acrobatic Defense allows them to increase their physical defense against opponents. Yeah. Anticipate blow. Very similar. Acrobatic defense is dexterity based in targets, physical defense in terms of determining its success. Anticipate blow is perception based and targets mystic defense. Uh, The advantage that anticipate blow has over acrobatic defense is that anticipate blow actually does provide a bonus to an attack that you make against that target if you are successful. It does have the drawback of requiring you to be acting before the opponent, which is a little bit of an issue for troubadours because while they might have a decent dexterity, it is like a tertiary ability for them and they don't have a lot of stuff that allows them to boost it. Uh, So that's the potential drawback of this. While it does leverage the traditionally higher perception ability of the Troubadour, they will not be using it so much against high powered uh, physical like opponents because they probably won't be acting before them, but against minions and mooks and sort of second string support in a combat, it might actually serve some use for that. Exactly. Book memory. Uh, This is leveraging the Troubadour's tradition of scholarship and knowledge, borrows this from the Wizard, uh, which is available much earlier for the Wizard, but does allow the Troubadour to basically get access to a whole bunch of information stored away in their brain. Exactly. Cold Purify. Cold Purify is a support talent that allows the adept to treat poisons and heal damage related to poisons. And I think there's a knack for it that does it for disease. Sounds right. It's a decent support talent in that regard. If you don't have a lot of inherent healing in a group, like you don't have an elementalist who gets access to this talent as well, and you are facing poisons quite a bit, then it might be worth looking at. Agreed. Disarming Smile. Disarming Smile is new to the Companion, This allows the troubadour to basically stop any hostilities that are developing long enough to perhaps negotiate a peace. If the truce created by this ability is broken, then the group that breaks it is harried for the remainder of the encounter. And if, for whatever reason, the troubadour can't defuse the situation, then they gain a bonus to graceful exit as well as their companions uh, in trying to escape the situation without provoking an attack. So they will have gotten winning smile and now disarming smile. So 
double checking. And also new to the companion, eidetic memory. Yeah, eidetic memory is a pretty much straight up bonus. It's a separate test. Yeah. But when made, each success increases the next test made to recall information, whether that is a standard knowledge skill test or book memory or anything like that. It just makes the troubadour better at recalling information. Fair enough. Second weapon. Uh, second weapon, pretty straightforward combat ability. This would give the troubadour access to a second attack, uh, making them a little bit more effective in combat. You know, straight, straightforward. Pretty straightforward, yeah. yeah. Nothing more simple than that. <laughs> it's available a lot earlier to uh, warriors and weaponsmiths, or, right, and, um, and uh, swordmasters, rather. Weaponsmiths, I don't think, get access to it. I'll look it up in a sec. Uh, Steel Thought. Uh, Steel Thought is the mystic defense avoid blow. Yes. and we're... It's the active defense against mystic defense targeting things. Yeah, it's fantastic. Troubadours uh, already got access to avoid blow and resist taunt in earlier circles. This gives them the third of those abilities. Yeah. Thought Link. Thought Link is the sort of telepathic ability that allows the adept to mentally connect with other people. It goes along sort of in a, thematically as an extension of their social ability and ability to get people connected to each other and things like that. Absolutely. And last, not least, True Sight. True Sight provides a bonus to attempts to detect illusions. Fair. Exactly. So you've got a couple of different, yeah, you've got a couple of different themes with the options here, depending on what role your troubadour might be playing in the group. And that will depend in part on the other adepts that are in the company, as well as what type of game you're going with. If you're going to need to be a little bit more combat focused, then you'd be looking at like acrobatic defense, anticipate blow, second weapon, kind of along those lines. If you're looking at a more sort of scholarly knowledge type, you're looking at book memory, eidetic memory. And then, of course, you've got your social stuff, disarming smile, thought link. True sight works kind of nicely with as like a sort of investigative type of thing that would work really well with like the book memory or whatnot, because then you'd sort of be able to pierce the veil of truth. So the, the talents that you pick up as your options will depend on what your role in the group is. Fair enough. So if you think that's not enough for you, and it shouldn't be enough for you because there's three more circles to go, at 13th circle, the troubadours get a special ability called Encore. So they've got Unnatural Charm, now Encore. And the adept may take one strain to use any charisma-based ability twice in a round, stacking its effects. If the ability is a standard action, it costs two strain. This is an, in addition to any strain cost for the ability being used in the first place. So... Second attack, but for social abilities <laughs> or charisma based abilities. So being able to use taunt twice in a round and have its effects stack, for example, just to pull a random one off the top of my head. Well, no, because you, you get to quote Monty Python. I taunt you a second time. Yeah. Or any of the Game Master character attitude modifiers, being able to use them twice and have their effects stack. Yeah. You know, at that point, you are a master tier troubadour. It is conceivable that with high enough results on this, with a first impression or something like that, you could take somebody whose initial attitude with you could be neutral, would be neutral, and potentially boost them all the way to loyal or awestruck right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. There, There is some serious, <laughs> amazing social engineering that could be pulled off by clever use of this ability. Yeah. And if you have the right ways and means, uh, Encore provides you the expert level ways and means, without a doubt. Uh, also at 13th Circle, a host of things now happen. The Troubadour now gets a plus three to their original Mystic Defense. Their Adept uh, Karma increases one step from a D6 to a D8, and they gain an additional recovery test per day from whatever they had before. And their Discipline Talent, by the way, if this is not enough, Cutting Words. Cutting words is great. Cutting words is amazing. <laughs> it is a charisma-based attack talent. Nice. This is sort of like taunt, but taunt that does damage, does actual damage to the target. Ooh, can it do a wound? 
The force behind their words is sufficient to actually deal target. They make the cutting words test against the target's social defense. Mm -hmm. Like it's charisma based. It's targeting social defense. Yeah. If successful, they make the roll again and deal that much damage. So it could conceivably cause a wound and forces the, the target to make a knockdown test. <laughs> The force of your words, you you have the ability now to to put enough magical oomph behind them that they can actually cause physical harm. Nice. I love the magic behind all of that. So welcome to 13th Circle, Troubadours. And it's a simple action. Nice. So that you can use in conjunction with other stuff that you might be able to do that round. Yeah. And if that's not enough for you, because again, why should it be? Uh, 14th and 15th Circle lie ahead. 14th Circle! The Troubadour gets a plus five to their social defense. This is their last bonus to social defense. So we're now at a plus two mystic, plus five social. The Adept's mystic armor gets a uh, bonus of plus two to their original. And the discipline talent is now Song of Deflection. Song of Deflection is another cool one. This is another charisma-based ability. Uh, it does take a standard action. The troubadour using this ability improves the defenses of themselves and their allies. If successful, each target of the ability adds a plus two per success to any active defense tests. So this includes not only avoid blow, but steel thought, resist taunt, repost, witty repartee. Yeah. And others. <laughs> Anything like that that is a an active defense ability, they do need to continue Acrobatic the defense. song in order to maintain the effect, but the standard action only takes the first round to activate it, but subsequent rounds while they're maintaining it, they can't use any abilities that would require them to use their voice. Yeah. Because they have to continue singing, so they couldn't use taunt, for example, because taunt kind of requires them to be able to speak to the target. They couldn't use cutting words because cutting words requires them to speak. So it does kind of tie up some of their abilities while they're doing that. Yeah, this is... But the benefits that it provides in terms of a really nice, like, across-the-board boost to everybody's... Defense. Active defenses is pretty cool. Yeah, this is like singing and hacking at the same time. Just gonna say uh so on to 15th circle the the peak of the, the peak of the peak the cream of the crop the pinnacle uh the troubadour gets a plus two to their physical defense so we're talking two mystic two physical five social two physical three mystic three mystic i'm sorry plus two to their physical defense plus three to their mystic defense and plus five to their social defense overall their initiative now goes up plus three from their base initiative step and the discipline talent Song of Battle. This is the other one. It is specified that Song of Battle and Song of Deflection can be maintained by the same troubadour at the same time. Ooh. So one does not preclude the use of the other. That is sort of the exception to the you can't use another ability that requires your voice while it's going on. Song of Battle is a free action, so you can activate it at the same time. There you go. Song of Battle adds the rank in Song of Battle to inspire others, which is a talent that that troubadours get quite early on. Quite early on. But the, the inspire others basically provides bonuses to their allies to do stuff. Pretty fifth straightforward. Circle. No test required on that. Yeah. So they can inspire others at fifth circle. So if that's not enough for you, and again, why should it be? There is a master talent options list, and everything is new to the companion here. So we'll go through these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, to see what you want to do, because you only get three of them. Choose wisely. And that's if you don't pull anything from the warden talent options as well. So we've left you some serious considering to do here. First off, Confront Horror. Confront Horror is one of those legendary abilities it allows the adept to lock themselves in a contest of wills against a horror, distracting and weakening it. They make a test. If successful, the horror loses actions and suffers penalties to its tests. But because horrors typically tend to have pretty high defenses, at least the powerful ones, this is not an easy thing to do. No. But I would just love to see the warrior say, oh, yeah, horror, we brought our troubadour with you. Now you're in trouble. 
I could so see that. Uh, next up, critical hit. Critical hit, we've talked about quite a bit before. If you roll high enough on your attack tests, then you deal extra damage. Yeah. Lion Spirit. Lion Spirit, again, one that's popped up quite a bit. It adds its rank to uh, mystic and social defense against fear and intimidation type effects. Memory Probe. Memory Probe is an interesting one. I don't know that this one has actually cropped up before. It has It might have for the wizard. No? I don't think so. I'll check. The adept has the ability through this talent to pick up thoughts and impressions from the target and depending on the success level may allow them to ask specific questions that they get the answers to from the target's mind. Gotcha. The target is not aware of the probe unless they are asking specific questions. And basically in response to each question, the target makes a test and if successful, then they detect that they are being probed. Like they basically go, why did I suddenly think of this thing? <laughs> oh, yeah. somebody's trying to read my mind. They become aware of that sort of magical connection. Gotcha. And you were correct. I was wrong. Uh, the wizards do get it as a master talent option, just like the troubadours. Uh, next up, perfect focus, which I know we've talked about with the weaponsmith. Yeah. We talked about with the weaponsmith, anything that is a sustained action, perfect focus allows them to spend a little time, a, a very sort of brief period of time beforehand to provide themselves bonuses to that extended test at the cost of suffering a penalty to anything else that they might be trying to do during that time. So item history, research, emotion song actually would be uh, able to be boosted by perfect focus because it is a sustained action. So there's a few things in the Troubadour kit that could potentially benefit from this ability. Gotcha. Three to go. Safe thought. A uh, safe thought provides a bonus to active defenses or to any tests involved in concealing thought. Um, so spells, interaction tests, empathic sense, things like that. Um, anything that would sort of be related to mind control or, or mind reading. It also provides a bonus to any tests to sense that you are being probed yeah. or psychically scanned. Fair enough. And everyone's least favorite, second chance, which is the buy some new dice. Yeah, which everybody gets. <laughs> second chance is a yeah. reasonable choice for the Troubadour because it's charisma based and the Troubadour will tend to have a very high charisma. Yeah. So it's got a little bit more value for them than it does for, say, some other disciplines. Yeah, it's got more. value. But here. I've made my feelings on that clear, like every other week for the past several so <laughs> and we're not going to stop there uh and last and certainly not least my favorite name soul aegis soul aegis increases mystic and social defense based on the result of the test so temporary boost and a sufficient one at that so having gone through all of that were you to advise other people or were you to make the decisions yourself what would be your choices for you know warden options and or master options well, we talked about the warden options already yeah. when we kind of finished up those and, and how the choices that you would make would depend on what role your troubadour is playing in the group. And that's a very similar sort of thing that you'll end up with in the, the master options. You know, if you're going to be more involved in combat and you have not picked up a second discipline that is a little bit more combat heavy, yeah. critical hit is a decent choice to increase your potential damage output. Confront horror is very circumstantial. As cool as it is, I don't know that I would recommend it outside of a game that is going to be dealing with horrors quite a bit. I think Lion Spirit and Soul Aegis are both very, very strong choices yeah. at this point to boost your character's mystic and social defenses even higher. Lion Spirit against fear and intimidation effects and Soul Aegis just in general. Memory probe might be useful if you've got a sort of more investigative type game where you're going to be dealing with a lot of situations where you might be trying to get information from people. Perfect focus, possibly. That really depends. Again, it's a lot more circumstantial in terms of what role your troubadour might be playing in the particular group and how much you might be able to bring that to bear in terms of the sustained actions that you might be doing in the course of the game. Safe thought is another decent one to consider. You know, this might be a situation where, based on the type of game that you're running, if you can't think of anything else, second chance might actually be 
a reasonable option to potentially slot in there. Yeah. Just in in terms of being able to leverage that high charisma ability that the Troubadours have. Fair enough. So overall thoughts on the Troubadours' second half build out? Because I think they they kind of made up for the lack of combat in the the second half, a little bit more than they did the first half, so. Yeah, Troubadour is never going to be an amazing combatant. They do get access to some talents in their higher circles that are available at lower circles to actual combat disciplines that will make them a little bit better when it comes to combat situations, but they're combat ability tends Mm -hmm. to be the type that ends up being more defensive in nature than offensive. Yeah. Especially against mystic and social targeting attacks. If you're going to be like in a combat situation, you'll probably be wanting to leverage things like song of deflection, song of battle. Mm -hmm. You're boosting talents. Playing sort of a, a support and enhancement role to your allies and the stuff that you can do there leveraging encore you know when you get up to 13th circle to take some of those social debuffing abilities that you've got like taunt or some others that are available to really leverage the impact that those can have on enemies is a thing to do but Generally speaking, I think we said this back in the original Troubadour episode, you're not getting into Troubadour to be a combat type. You get a couple of abilities that can help in combat, but if you are not happy with your ability to contribute in combat as a Troubadour, you're better off just picking up a second discipline, probably Swordmaster, to really leverage that nice combination of physical and social power that comes from that really strong and effective and pretty good looking multidiscipline combination. Yeah. Social area is where the troubadour needs to focus. You are a support character to boost everybody else's combat or you're a support character, second line, third line, maybe of defense or action. But the, the downtime is more where the troubadour should shine. Yeah, well, not quite as downtime as, say, the Weaponsmith. Agreed. The Troubadour would really shine in terms of leveraging their ability to get things done socially, you know, in terms of shifting people's attitudes and leveraging favors and getting information from people sort of in that regard. Yeah. And possibly in terms of a research knowledge area, if you don't have, say, a wizard or a Weaponsmith in the group, the Troubadour can sort of fill that aspect of the role pretty effectively yeah so i have never played a troubadour but they oh they continue to intrigue me where in a larger party i would absolutely uh give my shot at one next time because you know gotta play something new every once in a while and this would be my my way to do so in there so again folks if you have any questions for us contact us at edsgpodcast at gmail.com or Leave us a voicemail. We've had a couple of them. We appreciate those. We will drop your beautiful sounding voice into our feed and let everybody hear it for yourselves. So phrase it properly. Watch your language. Otherwise, folks, uh, at the it's time to go. So next time around, before then, sing the song of your own legend as the troubadours are wont to do. Good night, everybody.